you know, here's what happened that day, Marty. Yeah. I was called to play on a song uh, that afternoon at two o'clock or three o'clock or whatever. I, I think it was a two o'clock call and not, I wasn't going to be on the morning session. And that's what they were doing in the morning was cutting that song Got with it. Bruce with Bruce and Hutch. Yeah. Ed Cherney, Ed Cherney's the engineer, good friend of mine and Don's producing. My drums were delivered that morning by my roadie. He set them up, tuned them up, put the right symbols up, everything. They put the microphones over them. Ed took care of all of that, got the sound going, everything. I pull up at a quarter to two. And I'm outside pulling up in the parking lot. And Don is outside. Where was it at? Ocean uh, Way? Ocean Way. Yeah. And, and Don's standing outside. Because he doesn't fucking remember this. I told him the story. I told him my version of it when he and Ed and I were hanging out one, once at a, at a Bonnie concert at the, at the Greek. And I said, Don, here's how I see it. And, and, uh, but anyhow, Don, Don's hanging outside and I pu I'm pulling up in my car and he's waiting for me. He goes, Hey man, hurry, hurry. I said, well, what? I said, look at my, I'm not late. You know, it's three o'clock or two o'clock. Yeah. He goes, no, we need, we need you now. I said, Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. So I hustle up. I get inside. I sit down, I, you know, tap around on the drums a little bit. And there Ed goes, yeah. Oh, that's cool. My guy had already got kind of got levels as well. I thought, and Don goes, do you have any brushes? Like, you know, do you have any brushes? Goes, yeah. So I pulled out brushes and I could hear they were playing the song. Blah, 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 blah. I just heard that little vampy thing, you know, and they went, well, let's, let's, let's just start. And I just kind of went, okay. I went to that ding, ding, ding. And the song started. Now, mind you, I hadn't heard the whole, I've not heard the whole song yet. I didn't have a chart, nothing. <laughs> I start playing brushes thinking I'm going to run through this. I mean, I, I just kind of came in at one point and went, this is it, you know? So and, there was uh, a click. Was there a click? There must no. have been. A, so they just, you just counted it off and went to that. That was it. That's it. how did you know the tempo? Well, I, I, I'd heard them, I'd heard them going through it in the room while Got I had it. headphones on. Got it. I, I was, I was listening to the orientation of it and gathering it in and Don, you know, Don just said, you know, and so that was the take. One, one take. <laughs> Gotta love it. So we go inside and everybody's feeling something, you know, like the yeah. hair, you know, yeah. and yeah. we go inside and we're listening and, um, everybody's going, that's really, really special. And then, wow. And Don's like looking around at Bonnie, you know, like trying to get her to go, yeah, yeah. Ed's going, fucking something great, blah, blah, blah. And um, so Bonnie goes, well, what if we do so-and-so? You know, this is always going to happen. And, 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 okay, well, let's give it. So we gave it another, I don't know how many more other takes we did of it, but enough that they changed tapes and got to another reel. Hey, you know, we're standing around listening to it, having coffee or having snacks or whatever, and blah, 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 blah. blah. And finally, as I remember it, Don says to Ed, they kind of looked at each other and went, I don't know, man. And so Ed points over to the tape op and says, hey, put that first reel back on. And he put the first reel back on, click, play. And here's this, this is my esoteric way of explaining it. I said, it's kind of like this puff of beautiful smoke or whatever came out of the fucking speakers. The magic was felt right in the room and everybody was like getting emotional. Yeah. Because of, of how, how great it sounded. And that, and then Don goes, I don't know. That's it. That's the take. That's it yeah. right there. Yeah. And that's all it was. And, and for the next couple of days, Bonnie called me crying about how beautiful that track was and everything, you know, and you know, I, I was done. I was gone. Uh, I was trying to deal with my emotions and everything with being gone, but You're gone from the band, gone from the band. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but I was trying to, and I was trying to deal with all those emotions, but at the same time, it was great to hear that she really, you know, that she, I might've not been fired yet. That might've been before they actually fired us, but I knew already it was going on and I'd heard some, I think. Yeah, well, he, he said, you had just gotten fired. Fired. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, but it, that's well, so it, funny, man, that you'd get fired, and then they call you for the session. You were booked on the session. 
How? I was I was How booked on a. How do you get fired? Then you get called to do the date. I, I was booked on a song later that day that that we cut that never that I that my track didn't make the record they re, they recut it again. Uh, it was a Billy Vera song, uh, Papa Come Quick or something like that. Yeah. And and we did a version of it while I was there, but it wasn't it didn't make the record and and then they redid it with Ricky playing drums on it and that made the record. But yeah, I got to play on that one song, you know, and it's now in the uh, Grammy Hall of Fame and it's on you know the top. Best oh, 100, just, 100 songs of all time. You like ne that. Did you ever hear the demo? Never. 